Mick Jagger's Just Another Night here at MTV. Solo video for Mick. I am Martha Quinn. We are less than an hour away from the war to settle the score. But in the meantime, some music news with record producer Jimmy Iovine. He's a guy real in demand these days. Right now, busy wrapping up the production of Lone Justice's new album, due out April 15th. And he's also handling the final mix of Tom Petty's latest album, Southern Accents. In March, Jimmy heads into the studio to produce the second solo album from the Cars frontman, Rick Ocasek. And the Cars lead singer Elliot Easton has just released his first solo album this week. It's called Change No Change and apparently grew out of Easton's friendship with singer-songwriter ex-polar bear Jules Shear. In fact, Jules co-wrote all of the album's ten songs. Filming for the album's first video, Wearing Down Like a Wheel, was recently completed on location in Baltimore. And while the Cars is still very much a band, Elliot is currently entertaining the idea of a solo tour this year. Concert date information, it's important. First time ever, we are showing you the dates for Eurogliders. You saw them on MTV live. You could see them across the country, winding up at One-Eyed Jacks in Omaha. Daryl Hall and John Oates talking about their new video on Half an Hour Music News. And the war to settle the score. It's finally going to happen. Stepping into the square circle tonight, 10 o'clock on the East Coast, 7 o'clock on the West Coast, right here. We go to Madison Square Garden. And coming up, we have tonight's 10 winners in the MTV Rock and Roll Around the World contest. So stay with us. Michael Jackson with Eddie Van Halen. Michael, along with Lionel Richie, Bruce Springsteen, Bob Dylan, a lot more got together to record We Are the World. Tonight, we are getting closer and closer to the war to settle the score. 10 o'clock on the East Coast, 7 o'clock on the West Coast. Roddy Roddy and Hulk Hogan here on MTV for Madison Square Garden. And coming up in this hour, all 10 of today's rock and roll finalists, rock and roll around the world finalists, 10 people already studying the exchange rates. <laughs> Taking out flight insurance, the works, and if you're not one of them, well, in this contest, there's always tomorrow. More about that later on. Or Huey Lewis and the news from the sports album. Seems appropriate. That's within 10 minutes. Coming up tonight on MTV, the war to settle the score, live from Madison Square Garden. Rock and wrestling go head to head, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. Well, from the sports album, I got my wrestling sneakers on tonight, getting ready for the war to settle the score just a few minutes away, 10 o'clock on the East Coast, 7 o'clock out on the West Coast. And coming up, I'll be telling you all of tonight's 10 winners in the MTV Rock and Roll Around the World contest and the news right after this, conversation with Daryl Hall and John Oates. But first, this word from Twitch. first saw these videos and these you were watching MTV you saw them all first as sneak preview videos and we've got more of them right now every day only on MTV music television I'm Martha Quinn, and right here's some MTV Music News. Daryl Hall and John Oates recently completed shooting a video for Possession Obsession in New York with director Bob Giraldi. And soon they start work on another video for Some Things Are Better Left Unsaid. Daryl and John told us what to expect. We're going to use a live performance as, as the core of the, of the, you know, it's going to be the setting, but then we're going to take it from there. It won't just be a live performance. And the concept is that we're going to let the song sell, tell, it, tell and sell itself. We're not going to, that's why we're using the, the live performance as the, as the basis of it. And Garage Sales, the latest release from the cassette-only label called Reach Out International Records, the tape documents the worldwide garage rock revival movement featured on it, fans from San Francisco's The Trip to Stockholm, Sweden's The Shoutless, all playing new tunes in the classic mid-60s style. And here we have them, there... They are perhaps the 10 happiest people in the country at this moment. Each of them has a good chance to win the grand prize in MTV's Rock and Roll Around the World contest and see four concerts on four continents. There will be 10 new names tomorrow, and if you know how to watch MTV and dial a telephone, your name could be on that list. Keep watching for details. Now, this video is a song that actually first appeared on Prince's second album, simply entitled Prince, back in 1979. Shaka Khan has put it on her most recent album. John Henley and the Boys of Summer. I'm Martha Quinn. It's 
been brewing for months around here. The war to settle the score is coming right up. We're going to go live to Madison Square Garden in New York with Alan Hunter and Mean Gina Okerlund. Don't go away.